Sure. So um, journals have been used for a long time in teaching. I've always wanted to use them. I used them once when I was a graduate student. The assignment uh, using Moodle was that each student had to write 10 short journal entries on aspects of the course that they were doing, uh, one for each week more or less. These journal entries were about 150, 200 words long. They were extremely informal. There was no footnoting. Um, they didn't have to make uh, complicated arguments. They were really just responses to stuff they were doing in the, in the course. They weren't assessed, didn't go towards the degree, but we did read all the entries and occasionally made comments on them. So, you know, this is a really good entry, or what about this, what about that? The, um, we had a really high completion rate for them, which was really good. And um, the, the learning objectives was to help the students uh, with, their, with their metacognition, to help them think about what it was they were doing. Okay, not just to learn the subject knowledge, but to think about how that subject knowledge impacted in their lives, how it shaped their lives, how it changed their thinking, and how the things we did in a more formal environment also applied to all sorts of other things, the TV they watched or the bars they were going to or, or whatever. So to, to talk about the way in which the, the education experience was also part of their everyday life and made, how it made them think about their everyday life. I think that metacognitive awareness or metacognition is one of the most uh, important and under-talked about or under-thought about bits of university education. Because um, what we're trying to do in university is teach people to, to, well, to think, but to think in a certain way, all right? So if we're teaching them maths, we're not teaching them like the answers to all the possible uh, algorithms or equations. We're teaching them how to think like a mathematician. And again, if we're teaching them history, we're teaching them to not every moment of, historic, of the historical record, but to think as a historian does, to ask historians kinds of questions. And in English, of course, we're teaching them to think um, like a literary critic, to ask literary critical questions, to have that sort of mindset. And lots of those things, lots of that way of thinking doesn't come straightforward from sort of straightforward subject knowledge. It comes a much more sort of complicated and diffuse series of practices that we can talk about as being metacognition. Teaching students to think as a literary critic or as a historian or as a mathematician. What sort of questions do we ask? How do we approach things? So one of the points about doing the, the journals was not that it was uh, to be a sort of um, here's your information, now process it, now produce something. But like, sort of mull it over, informally discuss it, think about it, play with it in your mind and, and sort of see what happens. Teach yourself to sort of think as a literary critic. Um, so that was why I was really keen on it. And I think the results were really good. I think the students, it helped them process the very complicated material in the course, um, partially because it allowed them to use uh, sort of examples from their everyday life to deal with these very complicated theoretical and abstract philosophical concepts. Um, and partially because it gave them a sort of authorised space just to think about stuff. And they'd say things like, um, oh, I don't know if this is right, but, or, oh, I didn't understand this, but I'm just winging it. Does it mean something like this? So it gave them space to sort of explore stuff and to learn to think as literary critics and theorists. Yeah, we had lots of student feedback. We had two, two different sorts. The main and most interesting sort was in the journals themselves, and they kept feeding back on the on the journals on the course. They said, "Oh, this was really hard. I didn't really understand it." And um, but I thought about it. Was it something like this? Or they'd say, um, "I really hated this. I wasn't interested in this at all. Um, I couldn't see how it applied." Or they'd say, "Ah, oh, this week on uh, when we talk about post-colonial things, I see I see exactly how this applies to my life, and it gave me ways of thinking through things." in literature and in my own life, which was really interesting, I'd never thought about before, or I'd never heard people talk about before. So that was one sort of feedback, which is really constructive. Um, and of course, also there was sort of more formal feedback. And as I say, we had a really high completion rate. Uh, and generally, the students really enjoyed, or seemed to really enjoy, writing the journals and having that sort of unassessed space to, to try out ideas, but making sure it was sort of, but also with their sense of being looked over.